For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. All right guys, let's do this problem that says resolve each force on the post into its x and y components. So this is very easy. First we have f1, we have f2, we have f3. Let's make a little table. So we got the x component and the y component. So let's start with f1. f one's very simple. It's not going left or right. Therefore, the x component is 0. And the y component is 300 since it's going straight up in the positive y direction. f2, it's uh, 450. Cosine of 45 degrees because the angle is given. This is the x component of f2, and the y component of f2 is 450 sine of 45 degrees. Cosine of 45 and sine of 45 are the exact same value, therefore, the, the both uh, x and the y are the exact same thing. And this is negative 318.2. 450 cosine of 45 is 318.2, but it's negative because it's going towards the negative x-axis. And this one's positive, 318.2, because it's going towards the positive y-axis. And f of uh, 3 is 600. On the x, you multiply by 3 and you divide it by 5, times 3 over 5. That comes out to be 360. And on the y is 600, you multiply by 4 and you divide it by 5, times 4 over 5, and that is 480. So these are the x components and these are the y components of each of the forces. If you had to write it in Cartesian vector form, something more formal, f1 would be 0i plus 300j, f2 would be negative 318.2i plus 318.2j and f3 is 360i plus 480j this is the Cartesian vector form so final answers please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you